Hey, what's up guys? Day 83 today. Um, went quite well actually. Hit a top serve 170 um, in the squat, then I followed that up with uh, five sets of triples at 80% of that, um, which is 150 kilos, sorry, 140 kilos. Um, that all went smoothly, but really the whole point of today was to get through all the other stuff and, and get to the step ups, um, which is basically what I want to talk about today. I know in the last video I said, or the video before that, two videos ago I said to you guys that I'm going to concentrate on lunges and uh, step ups um, and then I realized after the video and throughout yesterday and, and the day before I realized that doing both lunges and step ups in the same workout will basically take um, away from each of the lifts if you have both of them in the same workout. Both of them use ba basically a very similar uh, movement pattern um, so I kind of thought about it a little bit more and I decided that I was going to do one or the other. And so the, the topic of, of the video today is how do you pick? How do you pick lunges versus step ups? Um, certainly you can go back and forth um, between two exercises, workout to workout. Um, but I like, I think I've said this before in, in one of my videos, um, training for me is not just a physical endeavor, it's also an intellectual endeavor. I like experimentation, I like working things out for my body. Um, so when I introduce new exercises, uh, I think of it as a scientific kind of method. Um, if you introduce too many variables um, into your workout, then it's really, really difficult to work out where the results are coming from. Um, so my approach has always been that you introduce one variable, or one exercise into your workout regimen, and then you sort of, sort of gauge of how the results have come um, after that. So if something changes in your performance, you can attribute it to that particular thing that you changed. If you change multiple things, then it's very, very difficult to know what's uh, responsible for that. So I decided to go with step ups purely because it's easier to set up. Um, with lunges, I mean, I've got a pretty pretty big yard here, um, but it's, it's kind of a nuisance. I have to, you know, load the bar, step out of the gym. A lot of my ground around here is uneven. There's a lot of gravel, a lot of uh, patchy, uneven uh, concrete. Um, and then I gotta, you know, go one way and then spin the bar around and go the other way. I know it's pussy shit, um, you know, I should toughen up. But if I've got a, a, an exercise that's, you know, easier to set up and easier to get going on, like step ups, um, might as well do that. I mean, the movement patterns is very, very similar. It's off one leg. Um, uh, the only difference that I've kind of made with the step ups is that I just hit one leg continuously for one set and then I swap over to the other leg. Um, so I guess lunges is. I would probably say more difficult in the sense that you know you have a heavy barbell on your back and you're walking then you gotta spin and walk back um, but with the step ups what I found is that because you continuously hit one leg um, I really really feel the quads and the glutes both work really really hard I think there is less demand on the adductor um, my adductors are overdeveloped as, they, as it is my legging parts are definitely the quads um, so if I can so somehow kind of move um, to favor the quad, it would be probably more beneficial for the squat uh, at the end of the day. Um, also, with the with the um, with the lunges, I feel um, you can load that up a bit more because the because you have to kind of use the back leg to propel you forward. Um, I guess it, it helps you a little bit more in the movement. Whereas with step ups. Um, I feel as though that the front leg does most of the work. I guess you can push off from the back leg as well, but then if you lean a little bit forward and put more weight on the on the on the front leg, then it becomes more of a front leg dominant. Um, in the lunge, um, the longer you step, the more you rely on the back leg basically, because you can't you know you can't propel yourself forward purely using one leg unless you really really lean over. Step up, smaller step forward because you know the elevation is basically right in front of you. So today I decided to do step ups. I um, made my little platform from the block pool uh, platform that I made a while back. Stack them up. Um, the level of of the little platform of the step is basically at my knee level, knee height. Um, so that that was kind of cool. I, I started with body weight as you do, um, and then I moved up into a empty barbell as you can see here. Then I put uh, 10 kilos, and then I moved up to 60 kilos. Um, I thought 60 kilos was going to be the top weight for me. Um, I did one set and I didn't really like how it felt. I felt a lower back pump. 
I felt um, I felt the legs not so engaged interestingly enough so I concluded that the weight was too heavy for me even though I can go through the motion and, and do the lift and uh, perform it um, I think when you add I guess for any exercise if you go too heavy um, the focus for that exercise shifts um, and it shifts towards basically compensation mechanisms just to get the weight up um, I'm using this exercise purely to bring up my quads and maybe my glutes um, I'm not interested in getting my lower back and, and the rest of that going um, I've got the squat for that so um, after that said I decided to drop it down um, a little bit um, I played around with some dumbbells um, and I realized that I kind of felt a little bit better um, and so then I thought maybe it's not so much the dumbbells the dumbbells were 10 kilos combined so then I went back to the empty barbell and I did that for two sets of um, two sets of 20 and that was sweet um, that's exactly what I wanted out of the exercise the quads were on fire I was breathless like crazy um, I was working really really hard I actually planned to do three sets but I was so spent after the second set that I thought you know I'm not gonna go balls to the wall here I have to squat tomorrow as well so you know the motto for me is do a little bit every day not kill yourself on any given day so I left it at that I, I left it at two sets of 20 with an empty barbell um, that felt really really good um, and that's basically it for today um, I uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna continue with the step ups and see how how it all goes. My quads are freaking so pumped up right now that it's it's ridiculous. So if you guys are out there feeling like you have lagging quads, um, I recommend the step ups. The step ups are, you know, I said in the previous video, thanks to the guys that recommended the step ups for me. Unilateral leg work seems to really focus on on the musculature that that that's lagging if you're continuously just doing squats. Um, so yeah. Try step-ups, man. Uh, so far, so good for me. Hopefully, it translates to bigger numbers on the squat. But right now, my, my legs feel like, like bodybuilders' legs. Like they really got a pump on. Um, and also, the glutes feel uh, on fire as well. But anyway, that's all I got uh, for you today, guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow. As usual, I'm going to come back and uh, eat some more squats. Cheers, guys.